Hello everyone, it's me Kara Baker. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be starting a series on my channel called Cast Your Tales and this is the first episode. I say this all the time, but just in case you're new and you don't know, I work multiple jobs, but majority of the week I am at Dollar Tree as a cashier and I come across a lot of interesting customers. So I wanna share them, cause why not? I think it's funny. You might think it's funny. We're here to have a good time. Before I get into this first story, I just wanna, you know, put out a little PSA for those of you parents out there who love to send your kids into the store instead of you going inside the store yourself because not all kids get it. Like they don't understand it because they're kids. Kids are not always going to get everything. Just because you literally teach them and show them, that doesn't mean they're paying attention. All right, parents, so please stop sending your children into the store by themselves, unsupervised, because I don't have time to wait for them to run out to the car and come and get you because you didn't give them enough money. Stop that. Anywho, roll the intro. <laughs> It all starts one day at 10.30 a.m. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping, and I went to work hoping to have a good day. Well, that didn't happen. So I'm sitting up here at the register waiting for customers to come up because in the morning, it's pretty slow. There's not a lot of people. It doesn't really get busy until probably like noon, 1 p.m.-ish, especially when people get off work. Oh, it's busy. This kid comes up. Coming to find out later on, she's 12 years old, she comes up and asks me, oh, where's your envelope? So I tell her what aisle the envelopes are down, and she goes, gets the envelopes, come back up to my register, pays for it, and leaves. That was all, that was it. About a few seconds later, she comes back in there, and she says, oh, my grandma says I got the wrong size, can I go switch it out and get the right size? I'm like, yeah, no problem, go ahead. She goes back and gets the envelope, but then she comes up to my register and she's like, oh, you guys don't have the right size that I'm looking for. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm sorry. Like, what we have out is just what we have out. Like, that's all the stock we have at the moment. And this 12 year old says, oh, okay. And then she just leaves. I think nothing of it. She just leaves. About a few seconds later, I see this lady. Now this lady has came into the store many of times. Like I've seen her come in here before. Notice she looks a little pissed off and I'm just like, okay, I had, I felt her vibe and I was like, mm, she has like that pissed off vibe. I don't know why, I'm just sitting up here ringing up customers. All of a sudden she walks to my register and then walks behind me. I hate it when customers walk behind me, especially when they wanna ask me a question. You don't need to be right here. Like you don't need to be right here by my shoulder to talk to me. You can literally just say, oh, excuse me, ma'am, and ask me your question. You don't need to be down, like breathing down my neck to ask me a question. Get out of my bubble. This old lady comes from behind me and she's giving me like the death stare and I'm just like, what is going on? Why is she giving me this or what did I do? She goes behind me, goes all the way to the back of the store, gets something and then gets in my line. So I'm ringing people up, you know, doing my job as I'm supposed to. Then when it's her turn, she sits up here and starts yelling at me. She's holding a bottle of Fabuloso and she's like, I'm taking this, I'm taking this because what you did was stealing. And I'm over here just confused. Cause I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I kid you not, when she started yelling at me, my attitude, oh, it came out, it came out real quick. At this point, like my facial expressions are out, the attitude is out and I look at her. Ma'am, I don't know what you're talking about. And then she says, you know what I'm talking about. You're stealing. I'm going to sit up here and call corporate and report you because you are stealing. Now at this point, I'm like, oh no, 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 no. I'm not dealing with her craziness. I'm about to sit up here and call my manager. I go on the intercom and I'm like, manager to register too. My store manager comes and this lady does not want to hear me talk at all. When I tried to explain to my manager what was going on, she cut me off. She was like, no, no, I'm going to tell her. Okay. Tell her, cause I'm just as confused as she is. Cause she's trying to figure out why you are yelling at her employee. 
The old lady goes on to explain to my store manager that she sent her granddaughter, her 12 year old granddaughter into the store to get an envelope and at first she didn't buy the right size then she went up to me, asked me or told me like oh I couldn't find the right size. And I told her granddaughter that, oh, like, that's all we have in stock. Like, we don't have anything else. And so my store manager looks at me and she's like, okay, we'll give her the envelopes that she did buy. And I was like, that's the thing. I didn't get nothing back. Her granddaughter literally just came back up and said, oh, you guys don't have the right size. She didn't take the envelopes that she already bought back with her to her grandma so this whole time I'm getting yelled at because this old lady instead of her just being an adult and just talking to me real quick we could have been had this issue solved but she decides to choose violence she chose violence not physical violence but verbal violence and I was not having it so I was pissed when I tell you I was pissed I told my manager I was like hey can I just have a sec to go in the back and just cool down because I just got yelled at for absolutely nothing and I was accused of stealing for no reason. When I tell you the look on that old lady's face when I told her that her granddaughter, who was 12 years old, did not give me back the envelopes that she had already paid for, oh, oh, her whole attitude had changed and she was like, oh, well, it's fine, I don't want the envelopes anyway. They were the wrong size. I'm just gonna go ahead and just take this Fabuloso. And me and my store manager are just looking at her like, what is wrong with you? I was so livid, I was so pissed off. And I'm somebody where when I get really angry, I angry cry. It's just a reaction that I have. It's not because I'm sad, it's just because like I'm holding back so much anger because I really just wanna, <clears throat> but I can't. I'm not going to, but deep down I just wanna be like, but I can't. <laughs> so after that old lady leaves, I just go in the back in the warehouse for like two minutes and just angry cry, wipe my eyes and get to going. I think that was my first time I really had like a customer go off on me. But nowadays, when I have customers go off on me, it doesn't faze me anymore. Like, it's it's been almost two years. I've had people, like I said, call corporate on me for the most stupidest reasons ever. And it's just like, they don't realize that there's a camera literally right next to me on the register. So you accusing me of doing X, Y, and Z, it's not valid. Like, it's not, it's not valid. Cause honey, there's receipts. There's receipts, there's always gonna be receipts. That's it for the first episode of Cashier Tales. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like it was short. I feel like it was really short, but anywho, maybe in, I have a good one. <laughs> be prepared for the next Cashier Tales episode. Before I end the video, I just wanna say, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, if you're interested in following me on my social media, that would be down below in the description bar as well. I've been posting a lot more my Instagram doing some reels because I'm actually having fun doing them so if you are interested and I hope you are follow me and don't forget to subscribe also like okay all right that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye